All right, so let's do an ear. Ears are really easy. Um, and we're gonna start with the slip stitch again. And I'm gonna do two crochet, because we're gonna make circles. So we got, or excuse me, two single chain. And then we're gonna do six single crochet in the, in the second stitch, in the second single chain, in the second chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're gonna put our marker in this spot. And we're gonna do like everything else we've been doing on this. We are going to put two single crochets in each stitch. So that's gonna be 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So that is our second row. It was two single crochets in each stitch. And the third row, we're going to do a two one series, which is two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. We're gonna follow that right around two one, two one, two one. It's gonna be 18 stitches when we end. And that is actually the largest row that we have for the ear. So again, sometimes I look back to see, did I do the succession of two, one, two, one? And I can see it, two, one, and I need a one, two, three, one. So rows four through six, which is actually three rows, four, five, six, are just going to be single crochets around. And I'm not going to have you watch me do the entire thing. I'm going to start it and then I'm going to stop this video. And I, when I'm finished, I will come back. Thank you. Okay, so we just completed row six on the ear. And the reason that I know that is because again I like to use my little um, markers as a way if I have to get up and walk around doing something else like we all do all right I know that I had two stitches in this stitch all right and I knew that four five and six we're gonna have one stitch each so here's four here's five here's six so if you ever need to remember that that's one of the ways I remember it so the next row is row seven row seven we're gonna narrow in and we're gonna end up doing a uh, single chain decrease or single chain together in the first stitch and a single crochet in the next. We're going to follow that pattern right around. We're going to do a single crochet decrease. One regular single crochet, single crochet decrease. Just kind of going slow so that you can see it every once in a while because I forget. I get rolling and I forget to slow down for you. All right, so remember, we're working on the ear, all right? And at this point, we are at the very last row. This is your ear, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 stitches in your ear. Now, you're gonna pull your marker out, you're gonna flatten your ear down, and you're gonna sew the two sides together. So you're gonna go right into the first stitch on the one side, and the other stitch on the other side, you're gonna pull that through. You're gonna do a single crochet. And you're gonna go right down the line with both stitches front and back, and you're gonna do a single crochet. And you're gonna follow that all along the same 
line, okay? So you get to the very end and you're still gonna put a single crochet in there because it makes the ear look more well-rounded. Then you're gonna put your little slip stitch at the end, you're gonna give yourself about a three inch tail and you're gonna cut it. All right, you want these piggy tails left because these are actually gonna be sewn in, we, we like to reinforce it. So this is actually one insurance policy to keep it to the head, but we're gonna end up sewing all this to the bear too. But this is just like a little added insurance policy for sewing it onto the bear. All right, so there's an ear. You're gonna make two.